For centuries, historians and survivalists alike have marvelled at Viking longships that sailed across storm-tossed seas and endured the harshest Scandinavian winters. These weren't ordinary wooden vessels. They were masterpieces of engineering, surviving where most modern boats would rot within a few years. The secret to their longevity wasn't in some mythical metal or modern varnish. It was in a waterproofing technique that Vikings kept simple, effective, and, well, astonishingly sustainable. Today we're uncovering that lost method and showing you how it can be applied in your own projects, whether you're restoring timber, building outdoor furniture, or preparing for survival scenarios. Vikings relied on observation and materials around them. The Vikings didn't have chemical labs or synthetic sealants, yet they developed methods that kept their ships watertight for decades. The key was a combination of natural materials, heat, and careful craftsmanship. They observed how certain resins and oils reacted to water and temperature changes, and then they applied these lessons to their woodworking. The result was timber that resisted water, fungal decay, and even insect damage. This wasn't accidental. It was the product of centuries of trial, error, and careful observation. The heart of their method was tar, carefully prepared and applied. At the centre of Viking waterproofing was pine tar, a substance derived from slowly burning pine wood in low oxygen conditions to extract its viscous resin. Unlike modern sealants, pine tar penetrates the fibres of wood deeply, filling pores and creating a natural barrier that repels water while allowing the wood to breathe. Vikings would apply multiple coats of tar to planks and joints sometimes heating the wood slightly to allow better absorption. This created a flexible, long-lasting seal that modern varnishes struggle to match. The smell of tar was pervasive, yes, but it was a mark of durability, not just aesthetics. The preparation of wood was as critical as the tar itself. Before applying tar, Vikings would carefully select their timber. Planks with tight grain and minimal knots were preferred because they naturally resisted splitting. The wood was dried slowly over months, sometimes outdoors in covered stacks or in ventilated sheds. Moisture left in the timber would compromise the tar's effectiveness. Once dried, the timber could accept the tar treatment fully. Some craftsmen even preheated the wood gently, expanding the fibres so the tar could penetrate more deeply, locking in protection from within. This patience and attention to detail were key to creating long-lasting ships and structures. Why this method is still relevant today? You might be thinking, Vikings lived a long time ago. Why would I care? The answer is simple. Longevity, sustainability, and reliability. Modern sealants often fail after a few years and can be toxic to handle. The Viking method, relying on tar and natural oils, is completely biodegradable, non-toxic once cured, and extremely durable. Anyone building outdoor structures, repairing historical artefacts, or crafting wooden gear for survival can benefit from understanding this technique. In fact, some boat restorers today still prefer pine tar for historic ships, precisely because it works where synthetic alternatives fail. Now, let's chat a bit about how you can use this knowledge in your own projects. You see, applying this Viking method doesn't actually require a longship or anything quite so grand. 
Start with well-dried timber, and if you can, preheat it gently to open up the pores. Then apply a coat of pine tar evenly across the surface, making sure it gets right into all the cracks and edges. Let it cure for several days, and then, well, simply apply additional coats until the wood is fully saturated. For things like outdoor furniture, fence posts, tool handles, or even wooden water containers, this technique creates a resilient, water-resistant surface that will last far longer than your typical sealants. You can even mix in small amounts of beeswax with the tar if you'd like a smoother finish that still maintains excellent waterproofing. Over time, the wood develops a rich, dark patina, all the while retaining exceptional durability. There are, I think, a few lessons from the Vikings that modern builders can learn. The real brilliance of Viking waterproofing lies in its simplicity, careful observation, and a deep respect for the materials at hand. Modern solutions often rely on quick fixes, but honestly, history shows us that patient, deliberate methods produce the very best results. The Vikings combined heat, tar, and proper wood selection to achieve protection that's flexible, long-lasting, and, well, truly sustainable. The lesson for today's survivalists, builders, and hobbyists is clear. Sometimes the old ways are the most effective, and they don't require toxic chemicals or complex processes. There are, you know, quite a few practical examples of Viking-inspired waterproofing in use today. Restorers working on historic ships and timber frame buildings still rely on pine tar to replicate that authentic durability. And, well, even survivalists and homesteaders treat things like fence posts, outdoor beams, and wooden tools with tar and oils to extend their lifespan, all without turning to store-bought chemicals. Even with small projects, say garden furniture, wooden benches or handmade crates, this approach really does make a world of difference. The process admittedly requires a bit of patience, but the results are quite tangible. Wood that stands up to rain, frost and decay for decades, much as it did a thousand years ago. Now, if you're fascinated by history, woodworking, or survival techniques, this Viking method actually offers a rare chance to combine all three. Understanding these ancient practices, well, it gives you an edge in durability, sustainability, and a deeper historical appreciation. If you found this guide useful, do make sure to subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into ancient methods, practical survival skills, and historical insights. Share this video with fellow enthusiasts so these forgotten techniques aren't lost again. By doing so, you'll be helping to preserve knowledge that has endured for centuries. And who knows, you might just gain tools that can last just as long.